So at this point, everyone is pretty damn excited for Breath of the Wild 2. The first game was amazing, and all we've seen from this game is more amazing. I think the only person that isn't excited is Hitler, and the only reason because of that is because he's actually dead and you can't have feelings anymore. And for me personally, the only thing that gets me erections anymore is Zelda games, so to see a new Breath of the Wild 2 trailer come out was absolutely perfect. It does sound like this game is coming along nicely, and they have said it's for 2022, which knowing Nintendo standards, that means it is 2032 will come out. Yeah, I will say, it is hard to stick to a timeline, especially when you think this is a legitimate timeline. But let's talk about this trailer a little bit, let's talk about what we see and what kind of more we learned about this game. One thing that we still know for sure is Ganon is confirmed a cutie. We have this quick little glimpse of him right here, so we know just how attractive he is. Rumor has it that most phones broke in the land of Hyrule at this moment because everyone swiped right just a little too hard. I mean, all the girls are falling for him. You can see Zelda is literally falling in the trailer. So yeah, Salsa sucks, because I know I got a feel for all the single guys in Hyrule. I know a lot about that life, and we all have no chance. We just gotta accept it and move forward. That's the easiest thing to do. Ganon is quite the beast when it comes to getting the ladies. He's just swooping in and picking up everyone these days. But enough of the biggest thing. Actually, the really the biggest thing was the fact that we have basically a sky world above Hyrule now where Link will now be able to parachute between a bunch of different floating islands, it appears. It kind of feels like they're correcting a little bit of what they did in Skyward Sword. They did have a pretty neat sky overworld that allowed you to drop into very neat areas, but the sky was pretty bland. Skyloft amazing, but then it had the Humpty Dumpty Lumpy Pumpkin. You had an island for Beetle, I think. That's kind of it. So now you look at the sky here in Breath of the Wild 2, and you see all the more activities you can do and explore in this. I think it's going to be a pretty neat addition to this game. One of the things going to the sky appears to be Hyrule Castle, we see it at the end of the trailer. And I don't know what the hell is going on with these Nintendo games, but I remember the original Paper Mario, Origami King, they, they, they all send the castle to the sky. Like, I'm thinking all these Zelda bad guys have a meeting where they just hired a bunch of gophers, and the gophers are just going to town underneath all these castles so they can get lifted up or some shit. Those little shits are totally bad guys, and they know it. I also have absolutely no idea how the gopher was able to then create some kind of jet that launched an entire fucking castle into the air. But those gophers are also smart too. We gotta look out for those guys. They're up to some shady stuff. And the thing they really showed quickly and in depth of was what I guess is the Sheikah Slate is now like the Sheikah like gadget arm. Kinda reminds me of the gadget arm they had in the Spy Kids 2 movie that like straps all around and has all the different texts and shit on it. And they showed some of the new things that you can do with it, which seems to have a lot to do around time. Like the first thing we see is Link uses stasis, and then he seems to use reverse stasis and absolutely bowl over a few enemies. And I'm gonna say right now, there's gonna be so many goofy ideas that can come from this gimmick, it's gonna be amazing. Stasis led to so many goofy ideas back in Breath of the Wild, and now you can alter time with stasis. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to play around with. The Sheikah Arm Gauntlet can also turn into a flamethrower. He does use it to simply just burn a few enemies, that's kind of it. But I could foresee there being a lot more to do with this flamethrower that we have yet to see, and we'll probably learn as we go along. We're just heating up with what this thing is capable of. They got the Krinos back, the thing that would turn the water into ice, basically freeze it. Basically gave Link the power to be as cold as my ex's heart. Now this one also seems to alter time as it kind of like is sucking up the water into something. So how exactly couldn't this be used? You can create puddles in different spots. Perhaps you can take a little sad Bacoblim and you can just have a little rain cloud go on top of him. Basically make it so it's a stereotypical sad world that he's living in right now. There were all the awesome dogs in the original Breath of the Wild game. Perhaps you can use it to give him a little bowl of water they can drink from. Or just do anything with because the dogs were awesome yet there were so few things you could do with the damn dogs. Damn, I want so much more. Yeah, like the other techniques, I bet you this one's gonna lead to a lot of fun situations. And the final big one appears to be Link doing like an anti-portal gun or something, as he jumps straight kind of through this column that's sticking out. So I don't know if he put two portals down or something like it is portal gun and like we have GLaDOS just insulting us as we do it. it that could be the case. But yeah, it appears Link now can teleport through objects. Whether it's with time or something, I don't know. But goddamn, this is gonna be a neat way to kill bosses. And speaking of time, I still want to nerdy here. Listen to the song. Now let's play it in reverse. Oh. That sounds like absolute shit. I was thinking like they had the trick in Skyward Sword, where like if you played the song backwards it was just Zelda's lullaby. I, f I thought they would've done that stuff again. Uh. Nah. Nah, it just sounds like shit. I guess overall the trail was only a minute 40 seconds about, so there wasn't a whole lot we saw. We saw they announced 2022 was maybe the, one of the bigger things. That still does not mean you can't be excited for this game. It looks like it's going to be amazing. And of course it's going to be amazing. It's a Zelda game. Can you even tell me a Zelda game that wasn't amazing? 
Well, I will eat my words. 